My name is Rod Sudani, and I'm the bass player. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> What's your name? What are you What's doing? your name? What are you doing? My bad. So, it's the first day of the tour, guys. What are your expectations for this tour, or goals? What do you want to happen? Not get kicked off like last time. <laughs> yeah. We got, kicked, got off. kicked off. Yeah. For a day? Yeah. We got kicked off, yeah. <laughs> Kevin Lyman was like, get these f out of here. But he let you back. <laughs> yeah, but he let us back. Hey, that's a, that's a great goal. So you guys have, you're like, you're like, we're gonna stick to it. I guess another goal is to crush it on stage. Yeah. And to, um, What's another goal? I mean, like, stay, stay in the cold. shade. Yeah, yeah. Stay, cool. stay in the shade. Yeah, yeah. Not, but not be shady. No. But stay in the shade. Ooh, I like Shine that. bright. Just to have fun, have a good time, connect with the fans. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'll just, let me take this opportunity to let everyone know that uh, Independence Day sucked. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bands have regiments before they play. Like, your vocalist, you might warm up, or they have music they listen to. What are your kind of regiments when you're on tour? Yeah, um, I like stretching, um, doing push-ups, like 20 push-ups. Um, yeah, just so I don't hurt myself on stage, but that's it. Maybe warm up on guitar. I like to lift weights. I'm like, I'm at like a 500 pound barbell. <laughs> and then I like to sprint like six miles first, yeah. In the hot sun? In the hot sun. I like to lift my hand uh, with a Budweiser, and then that's it. Uh, I like to roll a blunt and listen to Future. Yeah. <laughs> Our magazine is very passionate about the homeless. We spend a lot of time helping them out. Have you guys had any experiences with the homeless? Actually, yeah, because they live all over our area, and we like to Skid donate Row. when we can. Skid Row's my neighborhood, so yeah, see it all the time. It's pretty wild. Yeah. We yeah. definitely like to donate when we can. Also, ALS is a serious thing. True. So very true. Very true. That's a the go purple. Where you purple? So. You know, we, we definitely stay aware of all the, you know, negative aspects that affect people's lives and just humble ourselves a tad bit. And yeah. Our, our magazine, actually, we worked on Skid Row with the uh, homeless, yeah, uh, and uh, we were based out of a mission for a couple of years there. Which one? Oh, really? uh, Union Rescue. Oh, okay, yeah. So, two, two blocks away from my house. Yeah. What I found interesting is the homeless is that they're at their lowest point of life, mm -hmm. but a lot of them claim Jesus as their savior. Yeah. What is your perception of Jesus? I'll tell you my I plead the fifth. Um, uh. <laughs> Jesus is the the Christmas symbol or whatever. Like I don't know. He's just I don't Christmas. I don't know. Like no one here. No one here is religious. Like Jesus is just the man you go to when it's Christmas time. <laughs> Back to the homeless. I one time drove around and fed a bunch of homeless. And then uh, and then what about Jesus Christ? Um, I like baby Jesus, like, uh, you know, like in Talladega Nights. Yeah. I don't like the full-grown version. I like the baby Jesus one. That's a good one. But we, we performed in the Philippines, and one thing we noticed is that it's uh, still a third-world country, and there's, like, kids sleeping on the street. Like, it's f up over there. Like, we need to, I don't know what we got to do to make it work, but it's f up everywhere. Like, there's f up places, and it's it f with you, you know? Yeah. yeah. A lot of musicians, you know, want to connect with their fans and social media is so readily available how do you guys stay connected with your fans to make fans a part of your music and your lives snapchat is a big way yeah. also twitter you know but the key is to engage with them a lot of people don't respond or like favorite that's the key you got to engage with your audience and you know reply humanize yourself you know yeah talk to your fans you know like don't be too cool yeah that's definitely a big, big aspect yeah. of that. Yeah. Shout out to the fans. That's how I connect. Well, <laughs> thanks, guys, for your time. Oh, thank yeah. you. Enjoy the tour. Thank you, man. Thank you. So, yeah, so, so you live right by Skid Row? Yeah, yeah, I lived I in L.A. a long time. Yeah, I lived downtown in L.A. like six months. Yeah, yeah. I'll take them for you guys. All right. Yeah, we worked at a union rescue. We actually ran our whole magazine out. They did a lot of documentary work. Yeah. To raise money to help the homeless people do tent drives yeah, and things man. like that. So we spent a lot of time. We spent a lot of time. All right, here goes the photo. Everybody look at it.